Hi guys and welcome back to the Pen Freak channel. Today we'll be discussing the Sailor 1911 large demonstrator. It's a very classic iconic look and this is how it came in the box. Let's just look at the box first. So there's a nice soft padding here going on. It's silk padding. And we take this out. This is the only thing that came with it. So these are the instructions. So we got we got English and then we got Japanese. So that is the case itself. I think the, this is the regular cases that comes with all their pens. Nothing special here. So on the ring it says Sailor Japan founded 1911. Then we have the classic sailor clip going on. There's a ring on the top. And no logo or anything unlike the professional gear. And there's one more gold accent going at the bottom of the barrel. And when we twist this, we can get to the pen itself. This nib is beautiful as it is a 21 karat nib and the only 21 karat nib I have in my collection and this is a hard medium. We can get to the barrel, you can see it's a converter. So once I take this out, this is the basic uh, CC converter that comes from Sailor. Already loaded with some ink. Now. The ink I will be using for this pen today is the Ama Eero from Pilot, a very nice ink, a light blue color. I think the nib on this is gorgeous. It's a 21 karat nib as I told you before and the feed is ebonite. It has that cigar shape going on, which is very classic in its own way. Sailor is a very old brand. As it says on the cap, it started in 1911. They are on par with Pilot. Yeah, that might be their main competition from Japan itself. So uh, let's do a basic size comparison. This is the Sailor 1911 demonstrator. Then I have a very beautiful Pelican M800 here, which is one of my grill pens. I'll make a video on that soon. And then I have again a Sailor. This is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim from the Ferry series. So for the writing sample, I'll be using one of my favorite cartoon character song. Pretty sure you guys must be remembering this song. It's very nostalgic.
let's talk about the nib itself now this nib from Sailor it has this uh, very nice feedback to it. it it almost feels like you're writing on a chalkboard and uh, the feedback is very comfortable on it so let's talk about uh, the different aspects in terms of smoothness I'll give it a uh, 8 in terms of wetness it is a solid 9 for me overall experience would be 8 for me now this is a hard medium so we will not get any line variation probably a little bit but uh, I, I think we should not push this nib too hard because it's as I said a hard medium so there is some line variation and it looks beautiful let's try this pen from all angles oh yeah no issues at all reverse writing Yeah, it's possible, but it's very fine. When it comes to wetness. Yeah, it is wet. So the wetness also depends on the ink you're using. So this is a very balanced ink from uh, Iro Shizuku. So I love the fact that this pen is a demonstrator and it writes uh, with a very nice feedback and that feedback is not present in many other brands. It's it's very unique to Sailor actually. <clears throat> and apart from that, uh, I love the fact that you can see the amount of ink that is there in the pen itself. Uh, overall, it's a very unique look for a pen. Uh, platinum also has a pen like this they're very similar when it comes to the overall aesthetics now the things that i don't like about this pen is that if you look closely my main gripe is here um, as you can see there is a weird uh, pattern going on here this almost looks like the, that's tape inside the barrel it looks like scotch tape to me for some reason so this if you have OCD this will be a big issue because it adds to a very unpleasant look for the overall beautiful Sailor 1911 demonstrator second thing I wish this converter was, had more capacity to hold more ink because I go through five six pages and I'm done I have to refill it again and again as it's a very wet writer and many people don't like the fact that this frosted uh, look over here on the top of the cap which is there to protect the nib from direct sunlight most probably is actually uh, not a good touch because it it doesn't go it doesn't suit the overall look of the pen you can take the uh, film out this is basically a small transparent film going on here you can take it out but uh, I would not recommend doing that because it might void your warranty from Sailor. So that concludes the review for the Sailor 1911 large demonstrator guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be doing more reviews in the future. So please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you next time then.